Mm -hmm. All right, proprioception can be impaired, I am P-A-I-R-E-D, or weakened and damaged by neurological conditions such as Parkinson's, P-A-R-K-I-N-S-O-N, -S disease, and multiple scler sclerosis. Common injuries yeah. can also have temporary loss. <laughs> bless you. Proprioception. <laughs> bless you. Do you want tissue? Yeah. <laughs> you laugh when you sneeze too. Yeah. Um, you can also have temporary loss of proprioception <laughs> when a limb falls asleep. Love. Yeah. Here, I'll stop for a second so you can go blow your nose in the bathroom. Yeah. And wash your hands. temporary loss of proprioception when a limb falls asleep. Mm. You know when your body part falls asleep? Yeah. Like you're sitting on your hand or something and it falls asleep. If yeah. you fall asleep in a funny position or sit too long, the pressure on your nerves cuts off the messages to your brain or arm and your, or leg and feels tingly, T-I-N-G-L-Y, or stinging when you get up. Amputees, A-M-P-U-T-E-E-S, or a person who has a limb amputated or cut off, also suffer from proprioceptive loss and still sometimes feel the phantom, P-H-A-N-T-O-M, or missing limb. Did you know that? Yeah. So people that have their arm cut off or their leg cut off can sometimes still feel like it's there. It's called phantom yeah. pain or phantom mm. limb. All right, what's a synonym for weakened or damaged? What? You got this. What do you call a person who has had a limb cut off? What? A and M and P and U and T and E and T. E. Good, amputee. What yeah. is it called when you're drinking too much alcohol? or feel tingly? I don't know. S and I and T and T and I and N and G and T and O and O sitting to L and too long um and then what yeah. what's another word that phantom refers to i don't know what g and h and o and s and t ghost are we done we're getting there let's see how much more we have how much more well what you can get up and walk around while I read this part. Yeah. The proprioceptive system also helps regulate responses to sensory stimuli. Autistic people frequently seek proprioceptive input to regulate their emotions and responses to sensory stimulation. S-T-I-M-U-L-A-T-I-O-N. Some ways that people do this are 
biting or chewing on objects, hyperextending, H-Y-P-E-R-E-X-T-E-N-D-I-N-G, joints or forcefully extending beyond its normal limits, yeah. such as bending back fingers, <laughs> banging body parts together, such as hitting their jaw with their hand, running, jumping, or stomping instead of walking, sitting with knees tucked under, bouncing a ball on a trampoline, swinging, especially hanging by the arms, seeking deep pressure such as a big hug, head squeeze, or weighted blanket, carrying heavy things such as a weighted ball or books. These types of proprioceptive input can feel safe, organizing, and calming for many people, especially if they use these techniques throughout the day and don't wait until they feel dysregulated. D-Y-S R-E-G-U-L-A-T-E-D. Exercise in general can help you improve your sense of proprioception, whether it's yoga, biking, walk, or walking the dog. Yeah. Hey. Mm. All right, what word means forcefully extending Beyond its normal limits. What? Something. H and Y and P and E and R and E and X and T and E and N and What can help you improve your sense of proprioception? Mm, yeah. E and X and E and R and C and I and S and E. Exercise. Are we done? We're getting there. Um, what? Whole page are we on? Couple more. Let's just do this last page and then we'll stop, okay? Yeah. All right. For people who have. Oh, yeah. Um. For people who have difficulty with proprioception, maintaining accepted personal space. Hey. Can also be difficult. If you can't judge where you are, it's harder to judge where someone else is. Most people prefer to keep a certain distance from others, depending on their relationship. R-E-L-A-T-I-O-N-S-H-I-P. Mm. This space is like an invisible shield or bubble around yourself. Different cultures have different yeah. norms or customs and standards. One group may stand apart and bow to the people they meet while others hug or kiss when greeting. Other factors for how close to be include whether the other person is the same gender and if your relationship with the other person is family, friendly, professional, or intimate or romantic. Try to be aware of other people's reactions for clues to their preferences on personal space. If they lean away or seem uncomfortable, add more space between you. While sniffing, tasting, and touching may seem to be great ways to get more sensory input about something, these are not generally welcomed by other people, especially without consent, C-O-N-S-E-N-T, or approval and permission. Yeah. Someone you know well might understand hey. these types of interactions, but strangers or new acquaintances usually prefer other methods for getting to know each other. When in doubt, it's best to ask. Uh, 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 Do you think it's hey. kind of weird to go up to someone and smell them? Yeah. Kind of. And sniffing, tasting, or touching. <laughs> That's funny, huh? Yeah. All right, what's another word? Uh, for customs, rules, or standards. What? N and O and R and M and S. Good. Norms. What's another word for a romantic relationship? I and N and T and I and M A and T and E. Intimate. Good. Are yes. we done now? We have two more questions. What's one way of greeting people named? You can what? bow, you can what? 
H and U and G. Hug, that's a good one. Yeah. And then how was personal space described? I don't know. B and U and B and B and L and E. Bubble, good. Yeah. Um, Are we done? This is the last question. What's an example of gender? I don't know. You got this. M and A and L and E. Good. Now we'll start. Done. Now we'll start.